Hello everybody, Rushnak Backstabber has been revealed. You can see the model there. Looks uh, looks pretty decent, right? He's got a couple of knives, a bit of venom on them, a bit of vials of poison there. He's got the old school hat from 3rd edition. Looks pretty cool. There's been an article about him on Warhammer Community. Gives a bit of his background in a working in a forge for some reason <laughs> um, yeah and you can see another picture there a bit bigger this one looks pretty good he looks like a hobgoblin doesn't he that's uh, that's that's it and yeah this is <laughs> he goes on about uh, he went to Lustria to study venomous creatures so and if you see here he's um he's skulking on the sidelines. So, you know, maybe he will keep Sneaky Git, but uh, there's some art. Really lent le in the poison here, haven't they? They've got lots of poison. Poison everywhere. And his special, his new special ability is indeed Toxin Connoisseur. There you go. And it's like how the Mighty Blow ones work. It's an extra plus one to the injury. Unfortunately, not to the armor. Um, but he does make them injure more. You know, there's a decent chance that, like, if you get a few stabs in with him, if you get a few stabs with him in the game, there's somewhat of a chance that he'll break AV, right? You know, if their armor is 7, 8. If you make about four stabs, he'll break AV once. <laughs> and then the plus one might make a difference. It's not terrible. It's not a useless thing. Um, there's a decent chance of it, like, you know, turning a turning a stun into a KO or a KO into a Kaz. Not terrible. And it is actually like, well, especially versus like uh, Stunties, right? When they're already getting a plus one. It used to be that Stab was unaffected by anything like Stunty and now it's not. So there's a chance that you can combine it with things. But the <laughs> it's not the best special. But what's interesting is his cost has gone down to 130 and it actually was 200 you can see his old rules there he was 200k for 7337 now of course that, that's changed to 8 plus now isn't it the av and the agility would be 3 plus but um that's a 70k discount that is substantial now of course most of the stars have gotten a lot cheaper but that's a big break and he used to have loner of course dodge stab sidestep sneaky git now the new assassin type players uh well they sneaky stabbers they they have been well we've been told they've got stab and shadowing now they could still have sneaky git sidestep or dodge as well right we don't know we, we just know they've got stab and shadowing imagine they'll only have stab and shadowing will he will he also get shadowing you'd think so right like it'd be weird to have a star player that doesn't have the stat like the skills of the lesser players so one would imagine he would get shadowing in there, maybe losing dodge, maybe losing sidestep. Um, so yeah, maybe he's going to lose something there. But sneaky git would obviously <laughs> the problem with sneaky git would mean you just want to foul with this guy and <laughs> very rarely stab because sneaky git is brilliant for fouling. Pretty expensive for 130k to just foul with him. However, um, but yeah, that's you know it's a, it's a big break. Stab is sometimes good. And uh, his ability will sometimes be used. And um, yeah, it, he's playing for Badlands Brawl. So, Badlands Brawl there, you can see, is Black Orcs, Chaos Dwarves, of course, Goblins, Ogres, and Orcs. So, will any of those really particularly make use of him? maybe is 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 there is there a niche where you're getting 130 inducements you know so you can't get a wizard you could you could yeah, bomber dribble snobs often banned isn't he bomber dribble snot is a little bit too powerful so maybe he'll maybe he'll see a niche um playing against you know say underworld or wood elves where you know where low armor pit players that he can hit plays with dodge maybe <laughs> maybe there's a use for him um but uh <laughs> like he's not bad is he he's not bad he's not bad especially when you think like the normal star costs 60 uh the normal star the normal positional costs 60 
he's 130 and he, I guess he's got to keep dodge right he must have to keep dodge because that would be a double so that would that would be all right and maybe he'll get more things right maybe he'll get more skills maybe he'll maybe his stat line will change maybe he will just not lose sidestep and not lose dodge and just just get plus shadowing I mean 200 was very expensive but people used to take him sometimes right so who knows maybe maybe he'll see some play um you know and he's, he's got his nice new background and he he looked kind of cool and at least like they did something different with him right like the other because he was the only way to kind of have like a sneaky git um as the unit used to be in in warhammer he was the only way to get like an assassin kind of player on a hobgoblin team he was just a generic assassin type dude so now they've made him a bit more like death master snitch haven't they loads of poisons and then two daggers and then the normal guys are just the one knife boys so um we'll see you know he's certainly he's certainly a bit cooler now and uh, hopefully they'll be they'll be re revealing the third player which one would imagine to be zarg Mada. it might be a new player though eh? they could make a new like fire smith star who knows who knows what they'll do but there you go um Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.